What else? Some milk? Drinking milk is a family affair in the Figueredo household. Cristiani, the mother of two young daughters, is trying to teach by example. Enjoying a cold glass of milk with her children, she hopes to be a model mom. She constantly talks to them about the nutritional benefits of milk, cheese, and yogurt, and recently even took them to a dairy to learn more. I learned that milk is very good for you, and it helps um, your, body, your bones to grow. Milk and foods made from milk, like yogurt and cheese, make up one of the five basic food groups included in the U.S. government's Food Guide Pyramid. The pyramid recommends two to three servings from this group daily. One eight-ounce glass of milk provides almost one-third of the recommended daily allowance of nine essential vitamins and minerals our body needs. These include protein, phosphorus, potassium, riboflavin, magnesium, vitamin D, vitamin B12, vitamin A, and calcium. Children need these nutrients to build strong bones and teeth, while adults require them to maintain strong bones. They need the calcium for strong bones. They need it to prevent stroke, to prevent um, uh, heart disease, colon cancer, and all those problems that occur later in their life. While national health and medical organizations, including the American Academy of Pediatrics, recognize the nutritional benefits that milk, cheese, and yogurt provide, some critics falsely claim milk contributes to health problems like heart disease and diabetes. The fact is, studies have shown that a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, and dairy foods may actually reduce your risk of heart disease by helping to keep your blood pressure down. And regarding diabetes. There's no hard science that juvenile diabetes is caused by milk or milk consumption. That's been looked at by several um, groups that, that are particularly interested in diabetes and no causal relationship has been defined. Some groups have leveled the charge that milk causes allergies and obesity in children. According to the American Academy of Pediatrics, true allergies to milk are uncommon. Less than 3% of infants are allergic to the proteins in cow's milk. Most of these children outgrow their allergies, and physicians confirm that these children should not avoid milk for a lifetime. Sabrina Barndollar, a mother of two, serves her children low-fat milk and says the dairy products satisfy their taste and hunger in a nourishing way. Within my own family, I find that um, Drinking milk does not cause obesity, so I think that giving them milk and cheese and yogurts is better for them than the junk foods. In fact, new research suggests that milk and dairy products may help fight the battle of the bulge. Enjoying three a day of dairy could help manage weight while building strong bones. Critics also mistakenly claim that its consumption is the reason girls are entering puberty earlier. Physicians say, not true. The more likely explanation is that today's girls are less active and are making poor dietary choices, leading them to be heavier than their mothers were at the same age. Puberty tends to occur earlier in heavier girls. Milk doesn't play any role in girls' earlier onset of puberty in, in current generations than in past generations. In fact, women in previous generations drank more milk as girls than do girls now. The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends that kids choose milk, yogurt, and cheese for the calcium they need. Calcium is particularly important for children and teens. Inadequate calcium consumption during these growing years can put kids at risk for osteoporosis later in life, something Sabrina Barndollar is trying to prevent in her family. Teaching my daughter is that what you put in is what you're going to get in the long term. Um, trying to steer her towards healthier things for her bones, the calcium. I don't want her to have the bone problems, so I let her know that the milk is good. Can I have some chocolate in my milk? Perhaps the most common milk myth is that chocolate milk is not as healthy as white milk. The fact is, chocolate or flavored milk has the same amount of calcium and other essential nutrients as white milk and flavored milk contains just half the sugar found in equivalent servings of soft drinks or juice drinks. 
The amount of caffeine in chocolate milk is similar to the amount found in decaffeinated drinks. Soft drinks contain up to 10 times more caffeine than chocolate milk. Chocolate milk gives to them a lot of energy, so it's not a, something bad, it's something really nice for them. The American Academy of Pediatrics urges parents to help children meet their daily calcium requirements by being positive role models themselves. Got milk in your home? Drink up, it's good for you.